how was up y'all it's popping with cracking it's d about to react to this vid so someone sent me this and said that uh joe button goes off on j cole over this port antonio song that he just dropped i already reacted to it it's up on my patreon right now if you're interested link down below if you want to hear my thoughts but i really want to hear what joe has to say um and and apparently other people have uh gave their input as well so we're gonna get the industry's opinion on on this j cole track so yeah, let's hear what people have to say. Let's watch. All right, so J. Cole dropped new music via his Instagram. It's a song called Poor Antonio. Y'all done bully J. Cole into responding to the yeah, internet. Who the hell is Antonio? I, I don't know. Poor Antonio? Poor, poor. Oh, poor, poor. Oh, okay. Cole, when the whole Big 3 stuff was going on for over a decade, this verse cements to me that you were just excited to be in that conversation. Yo, J. Cole, are you a man? Oh. Your bro just included you in a diss when you shouted him out. Kendrick shitted on your bar. You're the one that said big three and all of this. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey? Is it me? And for a hot second, you stood on your pen and you put out a, a verse and had bars directed towards him. But then all of a sudden, in the famous words of Trump, he went another way. One has to wonder, why is J. Cole saying this now? Don't pop back up and say, if I would have, I could have. But then I would have lost, nigga. No, not over dead presidents. I felt like that was a felonious line. My Patreon people. <laughs> That's a felonious line. Now, retroactively, in hindsight, say, right. yeah, no, nah, I would have won. Nah. Right. Wait, wait, wait. We, we heard that track on Mike Delee later. We, we, we heard that. That response to Kendrick was trash. But also, too. I, uh, I disagree. Good. I disagree with that. I thought it was solid. I liked it. And I was upset when it got removed. I wouldn't have lost the battle. Yes, you would have. <laughs> okay. Anybody would have lost that battle against Kung Fu Kitty. I could have done some real damage in this beef if I actually tried. If I actually did something. If Cole never put out a record, never put out a bar, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be talking about this. I'm like, yo, listen, he ain't want to get into it. Cool. But you put a record out. If me and you wrote a song, just dapping each other up, talking about we the Spider-Man meme, this and third. And a Negro just called me a <laughs> 40,000 times in the biggest song in the world. If you really don't want none of this smoke, you should, yo, just fall back. And don't give me this long voice note because you know Drake ain't fucking with you. Now you want to give us the voice note that you could have sent to Drake. Oh, and if, if he's saying it, he know. Him and him and Drake, <laughs> I would argue he's he's one of the top uh, Arbor's angels, okay? So if he's saying it, then there's some validity behind it, behind Drake not fucking with him yourself if i'm drake and i'm in the middle of this thing i basically got attacked for the song that me and you did together in the midst of all of this that's going on because this is before euphoria even drops right not even just for the song you apologize and, and you start talking about how good of an artist he is and this that, and the third <laughs> let's stop sitting here acting like if somebody ran from you getting jumped you're gonna be like the next day when they come around and be like yo man you know right. i just give you some you're gonna be like man you don't get jumped a nigga who would say some shit like that like drake ain't talking to him right now not that drake is like Unfollowed him, which he has in order. You know, Drake is like, say, fuck you. But Drake is just kind of maybe a little bit a little bit more reserved with him. Maybe not showing that same energy of, oh, we best friends. Let's hug on stage like we normally do. Tell Drake, text him, send him a voice note. Because you ain't spoke to him since you spoke to Kendrick. It probably did make Drake and Cole's um, relationship really weird. Because let's just be real, man. We just was on tour. We just had a great time. We just made a ton of money. We coming out to shows. We bringing people out. We doing all of this different stuff, and then you then you jump out there. I don't know if he told him to jump out there or not, but then you jump out there, and once you jump out there, then you make the decision to say, no, I was wrong. No, you should have been thinking before and stop letting people gas you up. He went on tour. He made millions of dollars with somebody, mm -hmm. and another rapper shitted on your only number one song, the bar that you put in that song, mm -hmm. and then you, you swing. Didn't hit as hard as you thought you would, but you swung, and then you decide, no, I don't want to fight. It feels like this was a line to say, yo, Drake, even if we don't talk again, Drake, even if even if you feel a way about X, Y, Z, and you mad at me, it's okay. You always be my nigga. These are words that we know he wants to tell Drake, but he knows Drake ain't picking up the phone for him. Well, no, he says Drake's still my bro. Like, he still views him that way. And trying to give him advice. Yeah, he's trying to give him advice. I don't want... It's like, bro. Drake Drake is the Right. Like, well, well Drake's on the cover of a fishing magazine right now. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. putting out an R&B or yeah. an R&B Caribbean influence album because part of door is Jamaican, you know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Right. So what? maybe Drake does need some advice. His moves... What are you talking about? Since the battle, 
seems like he's sympathetic or he's on the side of Kendrick Lamar. I'm over the explaining of himself. Yeah, I don't want to hear. Like, it's no reason to. Cole is now effectively trying to clear the air around something. I, I don't even know if we need the air cleared around. Why does he feel the need to defend his decision so much? That's his Jay Cole that's made a great decision. Jay Cole made a great decision. He's protecting his piece. I thought it was G. Who cares what the internet got to this is his therapy. This is yeah, rapping. This, this is Jay Cole is like a diary entry rapper. Like My friends went to war and I walked away with all their blood on me. Like, 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 like he's affected. No, nigga. Actually, people, like, we know your demeanor. We didn't, wouldn't even give a fuck if you didn't respond. We just care that you responded and apologized. He likens himself to... That's not what to... that means. When, when you say that blood is on you, I, I don't feel like he meant that he was affected. Well, maybe he means he was emotionally affected by it. I don't fucking know. But that just means that there was bloodshed and the blood got on you because you were right there. You were in close proximity. That's how I take that saying, but whatever gun that is is still deadly even if you didn't shoot it which uh, honestly is is a very sad sad piece of cope he's listening to the fans <laughs> on social media saying he ain't doing this he's not doing that and he's jumping in i think the, the other discrepancy i have is in the song it makes it sound like us as fans instigated the battle right <laughs> we we was lost when i liked that drop Matter of fact, we was lost for the first person shooting shoot drop. We didn't even think it right. was a problem. Now, who wanted blood? Who wanted to see somebody get hurt? What are we talking about here? But J. Cole did jump in It's early. not literal. So y'all I see why strike you as odd, and afterwards you're like, man, why y'all start this? It's like, well, bro, we're kind of this, right? <laughs> and even in that seven-minute drill record that he put out that he deleted, he was talking like, I can take your fucking heads off. Kendrick, I, I, I'm better than you. I'm better now. It's, I'm just glad to be here. I think, I think, I, I think. I want to hear that shit, bro. I think shouted the dude out. Then he goes on a song right after and says, the big three and this is you. Why do you have to apologize to that guy? Like, I'm like so puzzled. Here's the thing, you still rapping. So why not just engage in the fucking battle? You ain't stopped rapping since. Jake goes the type of nigga who's just shooting the air, man. He ain't shooting nobody. The niggas that are competing, the niggas that have that MC gene in them are doing it because of they want clicks and props from fans they don't know. No, some of these niggas it's in their blood. Sorry, J. Cole. You don't get to lie to me like that. This is competitive, it's a blood sport when it really gets like that. And J. Cole, you don't that's not your style, cool. But at the top of the top, it's always been a blood sport. What do you mean you finally free? That dismisses all accountability from the part that he is playing That's true. in the big three debacle. I agree with you. What do you mean you finally free as if you never wanted parts of the big three conversation? Or J. Cole, in the last, I want to say, year and a half, has rapped better than Kendrick and Drake. But is he number one? No. He don't got that willpower. I really like this song. And so I immediately post Real Hip Hop is back on the side channel in the comment section is eating me alive on my own channel. And I'm like, how is this y'all's take? How am, I so, how am I so distant from everyone else? Some people feel like there's a quintessential aspect of being an MC, of being a rapper's rapper, which is the art of battling. And I've realized that J. Cole is not that. You get to, you never wear that title, guy. I don't give a fuck. You can put out the most flawless verse we've ever heard, and you're never getting the best rapper title from me. What because the when it was time, because when it was time to show that you was the best rapper, you told us you couldn't sleep. Also, to be number one, you gotta maybe take somebody head off or do something that is not gonna feel the greatest. It gotta be a competitive thing. At some like a lot of people are like, now nah, we ain't fucking with it. And I'm like, what am I missing? Gotta, you gotta maybe take somebody head off. You told us you couldn't sleep. Also, to be number one, you got to maybe take somebody head off or do something that is not going to feel the greatest. It got to be a competitive thing. At some like a lot of people are like, now nah, we ain't fucking with it. And I'm like, what am I missing? Why am I, why am I the outlier here? Pay the whole team of algorithm bots just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable memes. He said he didn't want to participate in this battle because that's what it was. Mm -hmm. He participated in the beef. I agree. So what are we talking about here? And of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing. Yeah, that seems to be... Maybe he's not getting that Kendrick, but he's talking about a, a tactic that Kendrick used. And well, I didn't like the Drake line used it too, shut up. the team of algorithm bot and words. It also reinforces the narrative they was trying to put out there about Kendrick buying bots and... Both of them. Saying he's that's what bot. he was using to push, push the, uh, the, his records. But he also he talks about the thirst doing. of being first that made them both swing. I think that's applicable for Kendrick. I think Kendrick knew at some point if... 
he was going to have the impact on this era and maybe reverse uh, the last decade of dominance by Drake. But you can't erase it. But maybe add a asterisk to it. He was have to go. To, he was going to have to square off or square up with Drake. Surface of why Kendrick has something to say about Drake. It wasn't just about Drake being dominant on the charts or being the best MC. It was about Drake and the co-opting of styles and culture to basically, you know, get the Infinity Stones and be, you know what I mean, the Thanos of hip hop. That, Kendrick needed this moment to have that confrontation with Drake and come up victorious that his legacy could be looked at as differently because let's be very clear, this was the era of Drake. Why is this track coming out now, weeks and weeks and weeks My. after the rivalry, the heat between Kendrick Lamar and Drake has effectively cooled off? The same reason you hate that battle and feel like Drake won because Kendrick made up some lies and did weird shit is the reason why Cole backed out. It's not the reason. Cole. Why do you think he backed out? Why do I think he backed out? I think he backed out. The up. conversation isn't even about why he backed out. We already discussed that, talked about it months ago when he backed out. That's not the problem here. No way, I ain't repeating myself. Because that <laughs> song he put out didn't land, it didn't hit as hard as he thought it would. Nobody looks at this like anybody was going to get hurt. I'm just keeping it a dollar with you, bro. Nobody looks at, and I'm, this is not to take nothing from a, a dream bill. Why are y'all so slow? Not He's not OVO, speaking literal. It's not you know, literal blood. I did not see this and be like, yo, somebody got to chill because somebody going to get hurt. The threat of violence is always there. Look at Big and Pac. Again, I come from that era where, where mm. Big and Pac died. And, and really seemingly, the devs had nothing to do with each other, but there was this whole East Coast, West Coast beef. This that was 30 third. years Let's ago. Not act like we don't have examples of when. And I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It happens in the drill space mainly. So let's not even talk about that, okay? These are not drill rappers, okay? In the mainstream era, that's not a very common thing where these mainstream huge A-list rappers will die because of a rap beef that they had with each other. Like, that's just not a common occurrence. So when people bring up stuff like this, I'm like, bro, nobody thought that Drake was about to get so active and want to kill Kendrick or vice versa. Like, come on. These things can go wrong. Drake's house in, in, in the midst of all this back and forth. Drake house gets shot up. Kendrick is the That didn't have nothing to do with Kendrick. And I said that Kendrick also knew Drake, Drake. is fucking everybody's bitch and somebody's mad. <laughs> Let's talk about that. I feel like Drake has a lot of enemies, okay? So there was no, people trying to link that with Kendrick is goofy. Kendrick doesn't even seem like the type to want to take it there to where, oh, let's actually harm Drake. I'm going a, I'm to a body him lyrically, which is the most important thing. It's what I really want to do. Body him, embarrass him lyrically. But on top of that, I want to have him killed too. That doesn't even make any sense. I want you to be here and alive and well to, <laughs> to face this embarrassment that you've gotten from these bars. Who would, Drake would go there with the family mention. And so he's been waiting for it and ready and because of that, who is this? It was ultimately always going to escalate to there. We watched for ten years Drake rock you to sleep on stage by hugging you like a little schoolgirl and telling you it's okay to be number three, and you accepted that for ten straight years. So when Kendrick started talking about yo fuck the big three, I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos, and he's talking aggressive, we didn't even expect you to respond. I've never right. discredited you. I've discredited your like it, like Skip Bayless would be like your your killer instinct. I don't think you have a killer instinct. So while you'll be able to rap with anybody that holds the throne, I don't think you have the demeanor to snatch the throne. He goes on to drop bars about how he's still really impressive and amazing as a rapper and that he feels he shouldn't be stripped of his status in the hip-hop community because of the fact that he backed out of this beef. One nigga sent a bomb to y'all country. And then the other nigga, you, you shot in the air. And as soon as nigga said, is that J. Cole shooting in the air? What's up, nigga? You're like, you just do your gun away. Nigga, you ain't, you ain't got like blood on you, nigga. Like, you quit the war before you decided. J. Cole, one of the best rappers we've ever had. No doubt I about it. You know. But when it comes to being called the best ever, the best right now, none of that shit gets no validation no more. You shot the gun, nigga. You responded. What are we talking about here? Very interesting. Very interesting hearing what everybody else has to say. I, I gave my thoughts. <laughs> I said what I said. My Patreon people I said what I said. If you 
you're interested, check it out below. But yeah, they, they made a lot of uh, interesting points. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!